know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. This is a special show, and I know I've said that uh, 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Wow, finally. I'm excited. I'm finally. excited. Uh, what's going on, Harry? You ready to rock and roll? Uh, you know I am, damn it. It's the new year. It's the first show of the new year. I think it's the first show. It doesn't matter. It's the second show of the new year, I'm being informed. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We've got New Year's of uh, fucking kicking ass and taking names, right? That's what we do on this show? That's what we do. That's what we do, isn't that? <coughs> That's what we I do. That's and also we... <laughs> smoke copious amounts of weed, apparently. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Those are, I'm, I'm doing herbals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just smoking right. cigarettes. I'm smoking Jazz cigarettes? cigarettes? Yeah, just cigarettes and a water bomb. Uh, cause that's me. Uh, well, you Dre, like to what's cru- up? you like to crush your lit joints and then smoke that. That's yeah. what I understand. I okay, I, no. I actually crush old roaches and snort them. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got to find new ways to get high. Andre, you don't know nothing about that, do you? Yo, what's that black guy that be on CNN that be talking shit for the left? For the left, Don Lemon. Don Lemon, not Donnie, the other dude. Who? The black well, the man. Dude. Hold on, Abby on, might know. Our Abby, guest, Abby, Abby, do you Abby, know? You know? Van Jones. Van yeah. Jones. Oh, not the one, the one be that crying. was crying. Not the crying one and not the That's gay Van one. That's Van Jones. There's That's one Jones. more with glasses. With glasses. It's, Maybe it's, it's MSNBC. He got a, he got a mixed gray <laughs> beard. <laughs> yeah. Another, he got a mixed gray beard. A little and he, always, like that. he always talks with a bunch of books behind him. Somebody told me I look like that nigga, and then I got another person that said I look like Roy Jones Jr., and then I got another person. Roy Jones that, could work. Nah, bro. I don't look like all of these. You mother- don't look like Roy Jones, but I look but like you... Avon Barksdale, the 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 wire nigga. All right, hold on. Abby's holding that's up. The, uh, that's him. Van Jones. Oh, that's Vinny. That's Shit. Van Jones. A simple Google search could have alleviated a lot of this, but uh, thank alleviate. you, Abby. Look at First, you with your exercise words. Alleviate. <laughs> exercise. <laughs> what about this, this dude? That um. Oh, I, I don't not even. Van Jones, yeah, you but, look a little like him. Yeah, you do look like. How him. do I look like him? Avon Barksdale, Roy Jones Jr. All at the same time. I don't know Cause, what. Because they kind of all have different features. Because yes. all black people Abby, look alike. Have you went in on we, this? We you just right. say that. White man. We got to it. it. Let's Harry. settle it. We're moving on. We introduced our guest. I don't even man. know that guy. That guy's name. And I watch CNN all the time. I don't even know <laughs> his name. He's not even a major Andre, dude. Andre, why did that come He's up? He's a middle. He's a middle in, in news. Uh, It like, came up because Dante uh said, said something to me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, I said something to you. I mm-hmm. think you said hello, and then yeah. Andre just went off on a rant. You did say you something. Go. I can't deny that. But what that something Harry, was? Harry, introduce Abby. Let so me introduce she can get in our guest. Yeah, finally. Um, uh, our guest is uh, a talented stand-up comedian and uh, an Instagram influencer. I guess she's just funny on Instagram. Uh, is all. Uh, 
and she's been doing some fantastic stuff there that I want to get into. Uh, the talented Abby Feldman, everybody. Oh, Thank you. shit. What's going on? Woo. What's going Thanks, on, guys. Abby? Thank How you. you doing? What's the deal, Abby? How you been? I've been good. I've been good. I have been not in Washington, D.C., so I feel like um, that's a plus. Were you surprised? Were you surprised about white people trying to steal back what they already own? I'm I'm not I'm not like shocked in a, you know in that way, but it, it's always surprising to see what what they do next. Uh, you know the I'm whites. Not, I'm so perplexed with anyone surprised by anything the Caucasian does. The, That's true. The, the white. Uh, not, well, I don't. I do not understand. It was how still just so goes. early. It was so <laughs> early in the year. <laughs> It was early. We mean it was early. It's actually it was early in the afternoon. They started rioting early. Like everybody knows, you ride at night. It what was, so early. Them? Uh, it was white so people early in this in, fresh New Year. They got to watch CSI at the end of the night, Dante. Yeah, okay. so was, you got to yeah. understand. Yeah, I was. What I find interesting is just when they see themselves portrayed. Do they go like, "Look how cool I look," or are they like? I, I but here's the, here's the thing. You know how like a guy will a guy will do poetry mm. and he just to get girls or play a dumb gu acoustic guitar yeah. or something. Um, I don't feel like being a racist goes like a girl goes, oh, yeah, like he's so such a good racist. I know. I mean, I'm saying they, I'm quite sure there's racist people that want to be with racist people, but I don't feel like you go, yo, he's mad racist. Like, I, I like but him, you know? Oh, you're wow. so right. So. I know, Donda, you're so you're on something, which is that I do believe that sex is a, is a major propeller of most action that anyone takes in life. Sure, sure. sure. Um, but I think that what you need to have sex is survival. And if they feel threatened by someone else who may be a better mate for their women folk, then they have to do whatever they can to maintain the status quo. And like, wait, 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 you got, you got back up. Start that again. You, so they scared of black dick. Yeah. You're talking about them saying. big black dicks, don't they? I mean, I, that's I, well, you what just, she was saying. I wasn't. Well, oh, I, I, so you saying because a black man is, is, is God. She, is it well it, and it's not peace, just God, peace it's it's not just it's not just a white man scared of a black man but it's just anyone different of anyone it's like why does anyone no, it's, any no, it's definitely a black man that would make more sense but i'm also thinking like why do people hate jews no one thinks like big jewish cock but like there's some other reason no but there's a, right there's another like thing disdain. right they're like oh they're it's gonna come in and like yeah, it's a different type of yeah like, make financially, my women you're gonna, you're gonna and, they're gonna make me they're gonna rape me financially it, yes and yeah. they feel like we're gonna rape you sexually exactly and, and basically, uh, they're just like and the we're Latinos the only ones are just gonna come in and roll women. their eyes and dance a lot. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're way better lovers. They got that like <laughs> That's sensuality. Not true. Yeah, no. fuck, Abby, yeah, do you speak that. from experience on this? Is this something from I Spanish? Do. Spanish guys have sensuality. I've almost exclusively dated Latin men. Yeah. Have you Have you ever dated a black dude? Just very briefly, like, like you just let them knock it down. You let just, him knock. Just, you let him knock it down, and then you know. What kind of black dude was, was it? it? Was it like horn rim glasses and a scarf? Did he have How a scarf? How many Star Wars shirts did I, he? I I dated. Yeah, I dated a black guy who was a, a tennis player. Like yeah, you uh, dated a blurb. Yeah. And he was like, he was like from Africa. A, no, oh. yeah, you you didn't oh, date a black from, guy. Yeah. You got you got to date a good you got to date oh. a good dude that goes yo hold on to this. He gives you a rusty thirty eight to put it. They ain't gonna check you. Shut up. Stop bitching. That's what you gotta. <laughs> oh you gotta my god, that sounds romantic. Somebody that you might have to bail out. You gotta fuck with that. I think no, I I am si I'm single, and I guess we'll get into it more. But I do think I need to I need to explore all my all the all the. Colors of the rainbow. It's the dental. Look for no, if you need it, you invention. need to get it the dust knocked off it. I I got rec recommendations. I can hook you if you want to get it knocked down. Okay. Properly. Odd list of Rex you just got in your back pocket. 
<laughs> it's also the same. That's just a loop. That's odd. Also the same hookups for any house tours. It's going to give her a list. It's just going to have my name at the top, nigga. Come on. You don't know me better than that. I would hope just, that's the it, way the fucking list is. It's going to go, oh, gonna, Nero. It's gonna like, go over and over for the alternate. It's going to have me on the back. Bam. Okay. Because the first name you put on there that's not yours is like, how how do you know? You be like, oh, well. Hey, yeah, nigga, I done yeah. seen the dude do some things, bro. I've been, or- <laughs> I been in some orgies where I was like, oh, that- all right, so I respect you do it like basketball. Respect yeah, your game, yo, my I guy. I got you. I got you. I seen you. I got you big doing. man right here. I got big man. <laughs> I got a uh, dude in the red shirt. When I pick my uh, team, when I, I call time. next, I don't want nothing to deal with, man. That speaks highly of you to be able to recommend others. Uh, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. If you're not, I had a dude do that for me. The oh man, and I, I just she just said hello to me on it. There was this chick we used to call the fuck money, right? <laughs> he. Well, so it's my man who actually was, he used to rob banks. I didn't know he robbed banks, but I'm sitting home and I'm looking, I look at the uh, the most wanted shit and it's him and his brother has got a, a, a spree of banks in Ohio with an alias. $50. But, but me and this nigga was real cool. We was cool. Only the first time he met me, he stole my watch. But other than my, that, you were cool. Other than, he told my and then I didn't say that we became really good friends. And then he said to me, yo, you know, you a real cool dude, man. You like my brother. If you ever need me for anything, I got you. And I was like, why don't you give me my watch back? And what did he say to that? <laughs> he was like, oh, but uh, uh, uh. Well, we had already got cool. So it kind of let him know, like, come on, dog, you thought you had me. You don't have me. I knew who you was. I just I just saw more of you. But I didn't know what about did the bank. I didn't mend you too. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the fuck money. No, fuck the fuck money. money. So he was fucking his girl, and she she was like, yo, she was just putting it on him, like sleeping, like she would put him to bed. And he. It's just he, too much for him to handle, is what you're saying. Yeah, it was just he, too much. He, he wasn't. Goes, yo, listen, you know, you be trying to fuck everybody to death. Here's my man. He put That's her hand in mine. That's a different type of recommendation, Dante. <laughs> he got you. Here's my man. You you need to fuck with him. <laughs> that's a different type of wreck. You know that's a different type of wreck. Yeah, that's that's kind of dope. It's dope. Plus, to you know, gotta, like the one homie in the group that got four hundred bodies, and every, every week you see the nigga with three different women. You gonna be like, all right, whole shit is what you do. This is something that's what he do. I don't dunk. That's a different I don't type of dunk. wreck. Versus an in the league recommendation where it's like exactly ah, this Jeff, guy you need. Jeff knows how to knock it down. This would be this would be, he make a good center. This guy was <laughs> good power for it. But yeah, you gotta Abby, why only uh, why mostly Latino men out of curiosity? I lived in Argentina and I like I did an exchange program there when I was in high school. Like Hilaria Baldwin. That's how they that, like like Hilaria Baldwin. That's why I that's why I made that video about Hilaria Baldwin because it it I felt it shook me because I was like I Wait, explain explain the yeah. video because for the fans okay. who don't know the so video. Hilaria Baldwin, aka Hillary Baldwin, <laughs> Alec Baldwin's uh, wife, Alec Baldwin's wife. Um, I I didn't really know much of her, but I kind of vaguely thought of her as like some exotic foreign woman that so you know had I. an accent. So right? did I. yeah, and I so it comes out Spanish. last week that she's, she's from actually, Boston. She's from Boston, born and raised. Her name's Hillary Baldwin. She's it, her parents are not Spanish or Spanish immigrants. Her parents are born and raised in the U.S. Sounds white is white. Right. She went to like a sixty thousand dollar a year private school, like growing up in high school. But her family would like vacation in Spain, so she learned the language really well. Right. And then apparently she kind of knew that. Alec had a soft spot for Latin women when he tried to hit on Selma Hayek and was shut down. Okay. And Hilaria just kind of like played up this accent and wooed him. And there's interviews where he think where he talks about her making, giving an accent. There's interviews of her where she doesn't remember certain words in English and has a very strong. Oh, she, so she straight goes all in. Like she's all in, like, I, I, I am. Um, uh, what's the word for this flower? What's, in the, English? what's the uh, chick on Modern Family? 
Sophia um, Vargara. Sophia and when I see, oh no, I know. Yeah. Oh, you're going to eat all the avocado. Yeah. I would love to see Sophia on her on her break, just being like, "What's up, guys?" Nah, mm-hmm. She probably like, "Hey guys, how are you?" Like, ugh. so brutal. I I love. <laughs> I love an accent. I actually used to say that I, so I, the reason why I related to Hilaria, first of all, she like bamboozles the whole world for 10 years. I She's thought like, she was, I thought she was Spanish. And I, oh, I mean, yes, as she a, was kidding. She says it in, in interviews. She's like, my family's from Spain. I'm from Spain. Like, oh, she, all, so she lies about everything all together. She lies about it. That's or like, so crazy. <laughs> Very bizarre. And then she, oh yeah, she talks about like how crazy her wedding is going to be because her family's from it's her Boston family. So well, I just, crazy. I was, crazy. I was, I going to drink a nice IPA. Yeah, and get a whole oh, Also, and have all a their kids, they have five kids together. They all have like eight were eight name names. You know, it's like uh, Eduardo Lorenzo uh, de la Cabrera. It's like all these different. But she did. So here's a weird Patty. part about her was like she speaks Spanish, so they learned Spanish, yeah. right? And she does speak Spanish with a Spanish accent. Yeah. And so even I, like my family it's is Rachel Ecuadorian. Of, of Rachel Latinos. Dolezen, yeah. Yeah, but I speak, I speak perfect it's Spanish. Like people guess. think that I'm from Argentina, but if they're like, where are you from? I'll be like, Rochester fucking New York. And then, Por, then it's like, it's ¿por cool. Qué? <laughs> Porque hablo también. Porque... Me comí muchos argentinos. I only know <laughs> I only know one good sentence is uh okay. what is it? Te quiero comer la empanada. Do, te <laughs> quiero por, uh te quiero Who doesn't love empanadas. I forgot it. Never mind. Who say it, say it. it. We want to hear it. Por favor, Dante. Re, te quiero pasar mi lengua por todo su cuerpo. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> I would I, I I yeah. I want to drag my tongue all over your body or ass? Yeah. Body, yeah. I want to rub. I want to. Yeah, that's how I say it. Te paso yeah. la lengua por todo el cuerpo. How many times did Dante use that that it finally learned? You know how you only <laughs> learn something like you only learn the word baño oh, after baby. like. Bing, 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 bing. He did it like you Kobe, really a thousand quick. shots. <laughs> I think you learn really quickly in the sexual context or in the romantic context. Sure, because you got it. And plus, you know, the the intent. Yo, from now on, I'm doing guns. When I get a good joke in, all right? Just so y'all know. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Very Sarah Palin. This is why people have to watch the YouTube feed, by the way. Man School <laughs> 202 on YouTube, because otherwise you miss the finger guns and then you just think he sounds crazy. I don't like, like that. a lunatic. I feel like Andre's being judgmental about my finger guns. Or he I fell am. asleep. I don't like your finger guns or Harry's pew, pew, watch. Pew, 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 pew. You don't like my watch? What's pew, the problem pew, pew, with my watch? How dare you? What do you? I thought you were gonna say. I thought Dante, you were gonna say you were gonna only do finger guns when you say that line to women. Te paso la lengua. And then right afterwards, you go pew pew pew. And then that's how we. I've I've eaten with Dante at a Mexican restaurant. I I love you. (laughs) (laughs) I've gone to restaurants with Dante. It's quite embarrassing. That's how he finishes ordering (laughs) salsa verde, and then he does the finger guns. Pew 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 pew. To have a signature move, I don't have one yet, so I'm not gonna hate on the finger guns. But you made a great uh video parody of because she did it like an apology where she kind of glossed over some of the things. Oh, the fact well, that she uh, yeah. the fact that she lied to everybody, she did say I oh, it was so funny though. She's like, <laughs> she's like, I am born in Boston, so basically, it, it, the whole thing came out because she did some video where she didn't have an accent anymore. And everyone was uh, like, hey, where'd your accent go? Uh, and then there was this whole blow up on Twitter where like all her childhood high school friends were like, Hillary never had an accent. She right. doesn't like what's the deal. And so uh, she came out and addressed it. And the video to me was so silly because she just kept saying like things needed to be clarified, but she didn't. Now, did clarify. she do it in a Spanish accent? No, it was mean? less. It was in a more of an more of an American accent, but she said things like people want to know where I'm born. I am born in Boston or I'm born. In, it's like saying it in a way that sounds like you know, English is not your first his language. Was, his was crazy about that. Like, what was her what was her thing before? Like, was she an actress before? That's uh, a good question. I think she was a dancer. Dancer and, and aerobic instructor. And like now a here's, a, here's a crazy trainer. thing. And I say this all the time. I say this about about dudes all the time. Like if a guy lies to you, like if a guy is five, four 
and he you ask him how tall he is and he says five six the reason why he's lying to you is because he doesn't think that what he has is enough it needs to be inflated in order to match where the deal is sealed so in your mind when somebody mentions that it shows a level of insecurity simply because they're lying about it so in my mind like here's this chick who was i guess she was an accomplished dancer or whatever but that wasn't good enough it was only good enough for her to look be perceived as this as this uh latino woman who was so from a distant place who was exotic being from boston wasn't good enough and so she created a whole her whole life is this lie that she's perpetuated ultimately she gets caught in 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 the same sense but so now where's her value now when it was it was attached to this stupid accent and this fucking lie I mean, I, I get it. I can relate to that. Like, who, who wants to be a boring white girl from a suburb? You know what I mean? And I think that's why I related so much to this story. I was like, because I, I went and did an exchange program. I learned this beautiful new language. I'm so much more cultured than where I came from. Everyone else where right. I came from is just like boring and whatever, nine to five. And I'm like, you know, it's cool. But you got to you got to get shot at to really become interesting. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. Like maybe not hit, but shot at, or at least yeah. hit, or get hit, jumped hit with a, a bunch bottle. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like that's how Dre got interesting. <laughs> Just <laughs> someone no, for hit sure. him in the back of the head with a Heineken bottle. Yeah, <laughs> we're like that guy. You know what? Heineken. You know, did Dre go? Dre got jumped out of club because he was out dancing people. And he was like, "You got <laughs> served," and they were like, <laughs> "No, nope, you got served." <laughs> That's fucking See, funny. He's told that I story before, but dancing. now I envision it as a break dance contest in the eighties. <laughs> like, someone, someone took off their Michael Jackson thriller jacket. You was the the. <laughs> I did the, the dance move. Oh, you got shit. you got po- punched by the dancer with the, who's a loose cannon because oh, he never shit, never bro. grew up with his father and as he dance just move. can't. <laughs> oh shit! Dance the move. one with he, <laughs> that's and you what weren't it able was. to you weren't able to save the rec center. That shit funny as fuck. <laughs> 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 oh. Andre, that's how they jump you. you no, nah, I came up. out the bathroom so was trying to catch a dance from a girl, and it ain't work. And then I started to say, "Excuse me," and then I just heard a nigga say, "Nah, fuck that," and then he hit me. Damn that! I don't got even get it on after that. Was that your first time being hit? No, <laughs> in my life. Why was that such a pivotal moment? Nah, this is just a, this was a this was <laughs> they had a <laughs> fight get, five when that's how the punch, fight started. When, when you get hit with a bottle, that door, usually starts the fight. Mean? How is it a pivotal moment? That's it's that is adorable. Have uh, you been jumped? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Is that the first time you ever I I'm very proud to say I I can I can count on one hand the amount. I'm like, you think we keep track? We don't keep track, son. No, I didn't. Th- I didn't think I was surprised. It's hard in these streets, yo. I, I only assumed. I mean, from my wanting to hit him from the beginning, this podcast started. I can only imagine. It's, yeah, it there's been other people before. It, it, it starts early. Ooh. Harry Harry's brother is gangster. Add you to the list of fuck offs too. <laughs> <laughs> All Ooh. three of y'all get it now. Why, what I do? Up. What happened? Dante, you ain't pick sides fast enough, my hey, brother. On, 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 on what? Hey, on Dante, what? Dante, don't 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 rile him up. He might he might have to me? do a break dance contest. Against, against you? No, nah, you I'm on them. your squad. I'm on All your, right, your so dance squad. No fuck offs to Harry, but I'm the guy that the don't the speak. Hot mic. I don't I don't talk. Harry, look. Man. Abby got to go to Spain to get wanna, interest in Feldman. I don't want to hit you. I don't want to Read a book, bitch. Get interested in that way. Do something. Live. Yo. Um, anyway, hold on. Let's hey, get out of hand here. I'm in your dance I'm group. in the hands. Um, I'm in your dance. Doing the electric one. So dating wise, now you're doing something on Instagram that I found real fascinating, too. That yeah, I, I want to talk, talk about. about this. Yeah. It's so is this. She's st- Abby, you started like uh, during this quarantine thing. You are uh, you're not seeing somebody at the moment, or at least the last I was yeah. saw on Instagram. 
And so, oh my kind god, of, that sounds so loony. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that Hilaria Baldwin? Do we have Hilaria Baldwin on the show? <laughs> She's oh standing goodness. behind Andre in the corner. <laughs> Um, so you what guys you- are making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I do your feel bad. Impression. Can I just say I don't like I don't like to be mean just gratuitously. I think what it just. Anyways, oh, with the I found, I found it thing, You mean? Yeah, I didn't. Funny. I didn't. It was want worth parodying, and if anyone wants to see the video, they should go see Abby. Uh, go on her Instagram. Us, son. If somebody fakes <laughs> being somebody, you can. Yeah, you can let them have it. Is, let that shit blame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it blame. You're gonna say live and blaze at the same and, uh, time. Uh, <laughs> got, let, let it blame. Let it blame. Let it blame, son. Uh, so you started this thing on Instagram. Can you explain to us what the, the this whole project? I found this very fascinating, Abby. Yeah. So I've been single for a while and I've been doing dating apps. And um, what I found with dating apps is like there's a lot of time wasted where you match with a ton of people and then only a certain mon- amount of those people initiate conversation or you initiate or whatever. And then that lasts a certain amount of time, people fall off. And then you might end up actually going on a date with like one or two people. And then not so how, how, what do you think the scope is? Like how many people are would, initially and I then would, what does it come down to? I would say 30. I would say, let's say you match with 100 people. Maybe yeah. maybe 40 will actually say hi or, or initiate a conversation. How, much, how many will actually go out on a date with? Out of a hundred. Out of a hundred, maybe seven. Wow, a hundred to seven. That's crazy, and that's, that's also crazy. that's also like men towards. I mean, obviously, this isn't like scientific, but I'm just spitballing. And no, no, I'm picking who is acceptable to go on a date with and who's not acceptable. If you were to have like a lower standard, you would pick more out of the forty. I said, "What's up?" I mean. Thing. I because you can get I, to change that when that's whenever you feel like it. Let's be honest. If you totally, surveying a hundred motherfuckers, you ain't really that picky. Come on. That's yeah, a lot of I'm motherfuckers. Not, I'm not super picky, but I will say that like when I'm swipe, I'm picky. I have high standards. But if I swiped on you, it's because like I'm open to going on a date with you. But then mm-hmm. it's if they're if they're like opening line is weird or if they're being yeah. weird with me, Losing then that is like, me. boom. <laughs> yeah. Then it's then they say something wrong or they get. Oh, I, I was te- I was texting you. Uh, why didn't you text me back? And you're like, oh, my God, right. the things you, see. <laughs> you gotta get off. The things you see, though, are oh, just funny. I mean, this I, I'm curious to see how you guys feel about this. But like the number, the number of guys who just message hi with mm. nothing else. I'm like, that's as good as nothing. Now you're making me lift like a brick out of the water. You're making me do yeah, the work. That's, that's yeah. hard to come yeah, but through. I'm going to tell you really honest from doing this podcast. There's a lot of dudes who just don't even know where to go. They have mm. no real clue. Totally. They're also, they're also approaching you. If they are if they like you, they chances are they think that you're better than them. But the, but then do. But if, if I felt that way about someone, which I, I use, I think I like what's it called when you like punch, not punching up, Almost but like. Say. Como se dice? Como when you're se like dice. above my like you I, somebody's out of your league. Yeah, out of my league. Thank you. Yeah, how do you say that in English? No, I just <laughs> forgot. But um, he was like, forget how no, you guys say you, it no, in this language. Love my impression. That shit is your impression. On. The thing about your impression is, it sounds like Pablo Francisco doing his impression of an Hold angry Mexican baby. woman. Hold my baby, Drake. My impression ain't dope. It's funny. You know who I'm, I mean? I use the word dope in it. But you know, I'm, you know what I'm doing, right? That's why it's funny. I'm here to say what's I'm just, if it's funny. Sophia. Uh, Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Vergara. Yeah. Let's see. You know, you know, what's the crazy thing about dating apps is I don't I don't take it even personally. Like, I'm sure Sophia would have a hard time on a dating app. I'm sure anyone would, because it's like it's just like all this miscommunication where it's like, I feel like I'm being super clear with my like, you know, I filled out my little profile on Hinge or on Bumble or whatever. It's like. I'm like, pro- I'm like, you know, I'm 33. I'm like serious about what I'm doing. I'll be like, right. you know, I'm using so- Tinder. I'm yes. not even using Tinder anymore. I'm just yeah. using these other ones. And I'm not using like match.com yet, but like right. match.com you know, is when you ready for the big leagues. <laughs> That's going pro. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got to check out 50 and us. 
They real serious. <laughs> I don't even know. They are serious as Wait, shit. what is 50? And, that's 50 years it's older. 50 years old and up. Is yeah, they that's, serious? We getting married tomorrow, lady. And like, look. Yeah, by, time is I, running out. <laughs> we got to be married by August, right? Or, that's how you date or else I don't have medical insurance. I'm selling the house. <laughs> that's what they eat. That's the it. house is in escrow. By July, we got to move out. We may have a day or two. We got to stay in a hotel and then bomb. We need to be married. And, yo, yo, uh, girl, how do you like to uh, combine Social Security checks? <laughs> no, my mom scares me. She be like, like he'd be like, yo, ma, what kind of cat food you like? <laughs> <laughs> my mom, no, you're saying 50. You know, what's crazy is like when 50 stops seeming that far away. Like my I said, I said something to my mom the other day, like, you know, I would date an older guy, but not like 50 or something. And she was like, you know, the difference between 33 and 50, nothing. She's like, that is going to happen like this, like 50 is right around. And it, she like, uh, it doesn't work straight. like that for a man. That's in hindsight. I, mean, you know, in hindsight. I don't know if you know this, but I'm 54. So watch your mouth. Well, <laughs> that's the, well, that's what I'm saying. First of all, it's like, it's sad. Sa- I'm swear. First of all, I would never know that. Second of all, it sounds big because when you're a kid, oh, you you're thought, like, how, how old you thought I was? I don't know. Maybe like 44. All right, I'll take that. Bomb. But like, a, but like yeah, a smooth 44. Yeah, yeah I'm a different kind of I'm a different. I'm 54. It's a different I know, but, you, but I was saying I would have thought you were like a smooth 44. I'm a, I'm a different kind of. You know why? Because I hang out with these crazy mo- young motherfuckers that keep mm-hmm. you young. Like I, any any time I try to get too smart and intellectual, bam, I, I hang out with these motherfuckers and it, I just feel like my brain just like, all right, relax. Stays at a low. Yeah, stay at a low intensity. That, wait, that, I, I saw an insult in there. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Anytime I, an I start to there. get too smart. <laughs> And an intellectual. Anytime I, I talk to, to these inter- dumb assholes, and it brings me down a peg, and <laughs> I don't like, get too too far away from base. I hope you're doing a bit right now, Harry. I'm good. What? I said I hope you're doing a bit right well, now. Well, if he you was, just you just it out for real, just for real. Fucked it out. No, it's c- comedic time. I'm waiting for everyone to stop talking, Andre. That's how oh, it works. Right, 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 I'll stop I'm having not- all this malarkey. <laughs> no, I look at I. Am rude. I Dante? Is it me? Am I? No, I, Andre's mad rude. <laughs> all right, am I? He just all breaking my double. balls for waiting to get in on a bit. He you know just, how this fucking works? <laughs> yeah, of course I didn't just discover it. I know what it is. Right mm. now, Andre is jumping from different time zones. Yeah, he's, like he's he's, and I'm cursing at everybody in both of them bitches. <laughs> you, so he I'm just in invented future, a, a time mother, fuck y'all. mother shit. Back here. <laughs> fuck y'all. I don't care. He got a time oh, machine that he's going to in d- different levels. He's just g- going out, grabbing his dick and then getting back, leaving Ford's theater. And everyone's like, what the fucking, fuck was that? Putting dents in people hood with my fists, punching their fucking hoods, just being wild, beating up Model T's and leaving. All right. So, Abby, so so you all right. So you're been single for a bit. Right. And so yeah. I think I'm getting the sense that you are kind of you don't want to be single. You're kind of like, I don't want to. I, I don't want to continue this dating. I'd like to meet somebody. So what did you do after that? Yeah, I would like to meet somebody amazing. I don't just want to like, and, you know, I don't want to just be with someone to be with someone. I'd rather, yeah. you know. Yeah, we all take it. <laughs> <laughs> no finger guns. All right. We know he's um, Hey, Harry, a, pre- a preliminist. A what? A, what? a preliminary. Harry a polyamorous? He is, polyamorous. He is a preliminary. <laughs> he is preliminary. <laughs> Harry is preliminary. Sometimes, preliminary, Harry, you are yo. preliminary. You know what I'm saying? So he be dating mad people, abs. Take your shot, shorty. Pol- you Polentinary? What? You're a, collection ex- you're a collectionist. I do love polenta. <laughs> um, polenta is great. Don't get me wrong. I don't uh, want to define myself shrimp, as a polenta. I garlic polenta is nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I love garlic. If you're asking me if I was polyamorous for for yeah, a while, yeah, that was yeah. the I guess you pulmonary, son. Pulmonary. You <laughs> Do your thing, hot mic. Come on, I define fake. myself. It, it, is it coming across that hot? Is it legit? No, I'm talking no. about the color, bro. You are oh, because it's pink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just no, so I I started this show. It's called Date My Friend, and it's basically because all my. Um, all my friends who were in like good, healthy relationships. I was like, you guys clearly have a secret or whatever, you know? Nah, that shit is they rolling. They usually just settling. Well, 
I don't know. You're probably, you probably, there's some truth to that, but I was just like, I would rather have more reliable people. Like I want, instead of having a hundred people that are doing it. Yeah. Let's yeah. just have quality, like 10 people to choose You want from. some recommendations or some, some type of uh, yeah. caliber to base this on. And you'd oh, referral. Yeah. You so don't now you made random. like a March madness. Yes. For your, your yes. Love. Yes. Exactly. March madness. Yo, that's the yes. new jam. March madness of love. Pew, pew, pew. It's, it's exactly like that, Andre. It's exactly that. It's yeah, it's basically and it's people it's people who have a friend who's amazing, who they think would be a good fit for me. This person has already expressed interest. So they're like more you know, there's gonna be a follow through. It's like making somebody have a um a, a college a college degree to to pick up garbage. You just thin in the herd. You thin the yeah. herd a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're just yeah, it's a qualification. It's like this person is gonna Now here's here's a question. Yeah. <laughs> because I find that women tend to be malleable in the fact that they have different friends for different things. Mm-hmm. Like I just like I got these motherfuckers. That's it. That's all like that's it. It's no you see, he. You see, right, right, Andre right. clearly don't give a fuck about our friendship. You see how he just swigged that fucking seaweed that he just drank. He don't give a fuck. Harry is fucking over there with his. I don't know. He thinks he's cute because he shaved. Fucking his doing a shoulder shit. But what is this, Harry? With your bad bitch shoulder. I I'm hate it. He's probably empathetic but and mimicking what is my this? But you know how women will have different mm. friends for different things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I'm my point is when you it's these, people, these other people are sending you their their this, this guy that they're setting you up on these blind dates are uh, I'm wondering if they're setting you up based on the the version of you that you give them. Mm. Well, I will say that not everyone who pitched friends to me was a, a friend of mine. So the the pitcher and uh-huh. their friend are obviously friends. So it's right. like you would pitch Ooh. Andre or you would pitch Harry. But I would never how do you do qualify the pitch? I would not do how that. How do you call it? Like, can anybody pitch? So people submit. F- they submit to the like to writing the, submissions. You know, and then I have a, I have a producer who's like vetting things based on who based on like, you know, there was a few like crazy people submitting or this or that. But like one person was a dating coach who pitched someone who I didn't know her, but, you know, she knows the person she's pitching. And then uh, the other people pitching, a couple of them were close friends of mine. And a lot of them were friends who I knew very intimately from like meditation, not just like my superficial, like I met you mm-hmm. once at a whatever, like people who knew me well, knew what I'm looking for, what I want in life and mm-hmm. like my depths and all this kind of stuff. So honestly, I think they did really good jobs. How many did you do? How many days did you do? So I did three weeks of dating the friends. So I went on each episode. So I did it once a week on any given week. I would go on three different on Instagram dates. live on Instagram live. Right. So it'd be so it'd be like I go on a date with Dante and you would pitch me a friend of yours and be like, you went so on great. a date with me. The show's over. Bang. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> And it's fun too because you get the you get to ask questions that I don't don't normally ask on a date. Like if I'm talking to you about your friend, the bank robber, I'd be like, Oh, like how many banks do they rob? And like, you know, what if you were with them alone, what would you want to ask them? Or what do you think is the most interesting thing about them? Or what you know, whatever. It's like these kinds of things that when I sit down in front of someone on a date, I'm not just like all of a sudden just being like, Tell me everything about you and what's your favorite way to so, oh, so you played it cold or you had research, you knew research. No, I played it super cold, totally blind dates. So I'm dating. I date the friend. Yeah, did you have a background on the no, person? Or, zero. No. OK, so, so like a regular Abby, date. You basically decided, like, I don't want to wait to be the bachelorette. I'm just going to make my own version yes. make my on own my, own, bachelorette. my yes. own local version. I like it. I respect yeah. it. And it's like way more. It's way more like gritty and real than the bachelorette because it, it's not like cameras and we're prop like i mean there's a camera but we're not like prepped or produced it's just right, like so it's raw it's raw let so me ask, did, how, yeah. how difficult was it to to actually be your true self since you knew that you were instagramming i think it's pretty it's pretty natural for me i mean i think it was cool because because it's Instagram live, it's even better than the bachelorette or any of those shows because 
people are commenting live. And I had all my like close friends commenting and they were like, ask them if they're spiritual, ask them this, like they were reminding me stuff that actually matters to me where like, I was a little bit performative, like on my Instagram live being like, Ooh, like what's their sign or like, what's, you know, just asking kind of like basic things. And my friends would be like, um, how do they handle conflict? And ask him if he's married, (laughs) important (laughs) stuff that you're like, "Ah, God damn. No, but they were so, they were so good to have in my corner being like, you know, what, how do they celebrate your successes? Like asking really good questions that are really good to know about did, someone that you would be in a relationship. To what extent do you know about like the Zodiac thing and like, does it really affect dating? I, I, I think it's just information to have in mind. I don't think it necessarily affects anything, but it's like, okay, it's, it's like knowing someone's age or their profession. Have or, you found yourself to get along with more, I don't know, like, I don't I'm, know, a, I'm, a, a, I'm a I'm a Taurus with a, with my my son is in is in jackass. Give me some money. <laughs> Give me some money, bitch. Give me some money, Taurus bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm a Taurus. That's that's crazy because I've been having so many Tauruses come into my life right now. Taurus is the, the 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 shit. We the best. Well, it's interesting. We the best. I have like trauma around Tauruses because Why? I. I've had interactions with several of them where they are like, well, Tauruses are the most sensual of the Zodiac. Yeah. Right? <laughs> pew, 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 pew. I to, told you. But to the to the detriment often. You told who? Who did you tell? <laughs> everybody. I told everybody. <laughs> you I, tell told you? You. I told you, motherfucker. Who did you tell? Yo, I say it for years. <laughs> for years, I've been saying. Every time I say sensual. Andre do this. <laughs> How many times I gotta say don't it? Don't support nothing, son. <laughs> this is why I we think, can't get ahead. I mean, that's why we can't but get the thing ahead. is, first of all, with Zodiac, it's just information. Like, there's a lot of other things to have. Tell me more are, about I'm sensual. Again. So Do you, you know, you, like you said, so your sun sign is in Taurus, but you've got all these other planets. When you, you know, all the other planets in the solar system were in positions when you were born, mm. and they affect things boop, in a different boop. way. So you, you might be a Taurus sun with like. A, a Leo rising and your moon is in, you know, Pisces. Um, so, so that my all moon things- is in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that is- one. Uh, my uh, moon uh, is rising in your butt. <laughs> oh, man. So this is why I have problems with Taurus. No, I'm just <laughs> no, true, I, true, true. I know my thing with Taurus is, is that I think, um, you have to like have it in check, you know, like because otherwise you could be a total like heathen who's just like eating all day and like yeah, doing do. tons of drugs and That's fucking true. tons of people and like. That's not true. I got done. a lot of fur coats. You are three for three with them, them shits, nigga. <laughs> eating all day, doing drugs and fucking mad people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's they do all of those That's, three in excess. That yeah, sh- it's about a lot. Of, it can be a lot of excess. <laughs> and it, and All three of those things are on You don't know me. You don't know me, nigga. You don't know me. 3,000 calories. Fuck 3,000 people. Fuck 3,000 <laughs> strains. Oh, that's great. And, that and it can be a lot of like inertia, you know? So it's like once you're like lazy, it's like you, it's so hard to get you to do anything. Mm. And like, yeah, I got to. I'm, I am like, she don't hit it again, son. Like, I got to keep. Moving if I stop if I slow down I'll be right. like oh, fuck. Here's but once you're on I'll, something, I, you can be super like consistent. Like once you're on a on a and don't room, get, and don't get me oh, mad. Who me next? What's the Scorpio like? Hold on, hold on. By the way, I equate to all those things, and I'm not a Taurus. I'm a Scorpio. Son, you not like oh, not like me. Just, just not obesity. Like me. That's y'all son. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not one of the twelve. You piece of no, shit. I I no look at I can only say those son is, your, your, your sign is sign is right. And yeah. retarded. <laughs> Andre's, Andre's sign is a guy driving very slowly below the speed limit to avoid oh, cops. I feel I've like your moon that. isn't retarded. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, it, it, is, it is point. just information and it's like it's it is silly and it's not to be like taken so seriously by any stretch. To it. I think yeah. there is some. And I'm gonna, you think, know, I'm going to say something. And this is a great argument. You yeah. can take this. If you think about the fact that the, the, the configuration of planets Literally, the the moon literally changes the tide. Yeah, which is seventy five percent of the whole the whole Earth, right? If if the the moon affects 
75 percent of the earth the tide to go in and out then how could i how it would be arrogant for me to think that the energy and the magnet the mag Shit, even you the know the gravity from us. different things would not affect that's all i'm saying now i don't believe that people can really interpret it i don't really believe that there's uh you know, you're going to be this way because of this thing. Yeah, I don't I don't know. How would you know that connect that or whatever? Well, the thing but is I do have, think it affects people. Well, I think that's I think that's the perfect way to look at it. It's we're, we're affected by a lot of things. So so the planets are one thing and gravity and the poles and the tides and how yeah, planets right. are affected. Seasons affect us. Where, how you were raised affects you. Whether you have siblings or not affects you. Your age affects you. Your the year you were born affects you. Like there's a lot of things. You know, you if you're born in the depression, you're going to be different than if you're born in you know the yeah, Renaissance was, or whatever. Yeah. So I definitely think it's it's just like it's my dad was born in the depression. See, that's why. In, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he he had rickets. Exactly. You know, can't even catch rickets now, son. If, if you try hard enough, I bet you could. I don't know. You would if have you to. really were committed. You. you would if you, yeah, got if you that, were a real tourist, you get rickets on uh, Dante. So, Abby, wait, before we run out of showtime, I want to get into more of, of like or what the process was and all that. Like, did you find yourself getting because uh, sometimes you're doing it in character and I get that because you're a performer. So yeah. I could, oh, you I did some them, of the dates in a character, I didn't mean not, that. not in character, but she definitely is. You know, she's Being performing, so sometimes she'll lean towards a jokey answer more than like a realistic right. for a little bit. Uh, okay. For a second, maybe. Yeah. But I honestly was kind of like, is this I was I was kind of nervous about doing this because I was like, this isn't funny. This is like it's entertaining, but this it's, is not me it's being sad. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> no, it's not sad, but I it's not like it's not ha ha funny. Like I'm yeah. sincere in my pursuit. No, they were just love. dates. But it was interesting right, to watch. You were, you were definitely part, trying to meet legit, somebody. Like I'm definitely somebody trying to had so if somebody had some juice, you would be like, "Yo, I if you and if you watch the dates that I actually went on, because so we did three weeks of me dating the friend and then I picked a finalist each week. And then the final week I dated the finalists, like the actual people. And I was mm-hmm. super nervous. Not in real life on Instagram live. Oh. So these people had to be willing to go on Instagram live, which is wow. all was just automatically like speaks really highly of them like they're cool and open and vulnerable and down to do a thing and or they clout chasing i don't think that was the case really i'm just saying it could be i'm saying it, it, it could have been true but or none false. Of these you had dates with that. both of the paul brothers logan and jake <laughs> no one else gets that except you I'm, I, I don't even know if i got <laughs> it any the, the, the internet dude <laughs> The internet yeah. guys, Logan and Jake Paul, because Dante said cloud. Uh, I don't even know if I got yeah, it. Fair enough. That I was, was trying to think who part. they were. I figured it was like famous people. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that, that joke that didn't was land a at all. A miss. It was a miss. It was a, it was a I miss. Didn't even know if I got it. What? <laughs> um, no, I. Uh, I was like, I, pow, oh, wow. shit, what yeah. the fuck? This I don't think anyone who, and none of the people that I dated were, were cloud chasers, I don't think. No. And there's not so, I, it's not did that you, I Did so you like any chaser. of them? You like any of them? I liked, so this is the thing. I went on four dates because there was like a wild card thrown in by my producer. So I had to like guess which person I was talking to because they all had pseudonyms. Like I didn't even know people's names or even their genders in some cases. Mm. And... So are you in you into girls, too? So oh. I have never been with a woman, but I was like, I'm you know, I've not been finding my right person. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want to be totally open to what the universe wants for me. And if it's a woman, like, let's find it out now. So, so if Dre did this, he'd have to date dudes. No, Dre. He would- no, you could say whatever you wanted. You could say like, "This is what I'm, I said. I'm open to anything, anyone, anything, any age, any whatever." But I just wanted it to be people that would be a good fit for me. And uh, the girl, so the first so you contest- had a girl too. There was a girl on too, and the first contestant that I went on a date with was clearly not a fit. It was very like awkward and not the right fit. And then the next person who popped up was a girl and she was so like easy to talk to and so warm. And I felt different than like just talking to a friend. You know, I was like, I felt kind of um, right. like contained by her like I would with a man, you know, I felt like like clam bashing. 
Well, I didn't. That's the thing. So I was like, this is interesting. I feel like hmm, this is a different energy than just a friend. Like, let's see where this goes. And then the next two guys were men and they were all like different and amazing and for different reasons. Mm. And um, anyway, so instead of picking just two like super finalists, I picked three. <laughs> so I picked the girl and the two guys. And so right now we're like in the stages of like talking. Well, the and, girl like, made next it to the finals. I'm announce oh, who wow. Is the winner. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So. What is the, what is this whole experience? Like, what did you learn from this whole experience out of curiosity? Um, or what did you get? I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Cause I think like I'm an Aries <laughs> and I'm used to, like, I'm used to like controlling and like initiating mm. like it, in a very masculine way. Like if I like someone, I'll be like, I like you, let's go out or whatever. For example, I, starting your own dating show. Well, that's the thing. I started <laughs> my own dating show in a very Aries. To ask you to be on theirs. Yes. In very Aries fortune, in very Aries fashion, I started my own dating show, but I like created it. So I initiated in an Aries way, but then in like a more receptive way, I allowed other people to bring, to like bring the dates to me. So I felt like what I learned was. um, You like taking advantage of people. No, I'm like relinquishing (laughs) control and surrendering and being like, I'm. Um, all, being, all that, all that. Yeah. All that. <laughs> I'm, I'm being like, let's see what you have, you know? And I was surprised, like all of these people, I would, I would say maybe all but one of these people were people I wouldn't have swiped right on. Mm. And wow, so okay. it's like, it taught me to be Open more open-minded. Uh, and- visually, like looks wise out of curiosity, because when you say that, I, I find that like the dating apps, do you delve into like the profile before you swipe or you just swiping based on I'm- looks? I delve so much, okay, uh, which is silly because it's like, wait till you even match, but I delve. Okay. So did this change that like you said uh, visually these people were different than you would have picked? You wouldn't have picked them. Well, I don't know. I'm saying I don't only just look at the photo. Okay, so yeah. I think based on what their profile would have said, I wouldn't have necessarily swiped. What's, what's something that you would that you would read and go, this is this sounds interesting. Um, well, so one of the guys is also sober, which is very interesting to me because we have that in common. And I think people who are sober have a certain level of spirituality. Um, so that's cool to me. Um, or they they was getting drunk a lot before. Yeah. But you have to, once you get sober, when you're on it, like a 12 step thing, like you're, one of it is like, except your life over. Right. Yeah. But. But what about non-denominational or not non twelve yeah. step programs? Right, but it's still there's still I think there's some level of spirituality. I mean, I I, I was never in twelve step, but I got sober, and it's basically just like when you know when I started feeling more fulfilled spiritually in my life and with my career and with that, I just mm. naturally didn't want to use things anymore. But I think anyone who's kind of on that path. At least to some but was it was it was it bad? Like, did you have a, it was a bad for you? Like, like, were you yeah, really it an alcoholic, like fucked up? No, or? no, I wasn't like horrible. I mean, I definitely had bad incidents. things. Yeah. Incidents like, yeah. you know, lots of them. But it was like I was always super lucky to survive and like, be around <laughs> people that maybe could look out for you or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. Just by the grace of God, which is how you kind of start to think about it. But um you know, so, yeah, I think people who who've had any kind of. Yeah, because it's kind of similar damage. You know, it's like you were fucked up enough that you used a lot of substance uh-huh. to an extent where, like, you stopped. And so there at least shows like some amount of growth or wanting to change or whatever. Yeah, well, a desire to change. But it also yeah. doesn't necessarily say that the person is over that. And so you're kind of going in a pool that like the land of the broken toys, you know what I mean? Like it could be that also. Well, that's why I want to make sure they're like, they're doing the work, not just like uh, I'm damaged and I'm going to sit alone. And everybody's got to, you know, everybody's got to pass and everything too. So, I mean, you got to work through that. And and if somebody has, I mean, I, I think there are people who have had less, had more harm that tend to be, even more balanced and more okay than people who have have had less 
yeah. you know, of a travesty. And just because they just weren't able to cope with yeah. this distress is, puts them in a really bad place. So it's it's really yeah. contextual, you know. It's like the pebble you know, in the ocean or whatever that gets smooth yeah. when it gets crashed a bunch. Well, if yeah. you want to see the dating show, you can actually go on to uh, Abby's Instagram, Abby Feldman, at Abby Feldman, and they're all up there. Um, but we're going to stop the regular show now. But we're going to continue over at Patreon. And we're going to keep talking with Abby and we maybe get into a little bit more dating history and also find out uh, if she's ever gotten got. That's one of the things we're going to ask her. So if you want to mm. join us, as always, you can check us uh, out on the Patreon. Yeah. Um, let's uh, real quick, Abby, El do Patreon. your, uh, do yep. your, uh, all your Almost plugs, please. Please go check out Date My Friend on my Instagram at Abby Feldman, A-B-B-Y-F-E-L-D-M-A-N. I'm going to be announcing it. Um, on Tuesdays, that's when we do the show. And um, look at my music. I've been making some comedy songs throughout uh, quarantine. Yeah. So look up my music, Abby Feldman, wherever you listen to music, and my podcast, Hi Babe. Cool, cool. Uh, Dre. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Andre, uh, Andre D. Thompson. Yup. Yeah. And everything like spots you then you know google between the spots Facts. uh harry uh you could uh, always go to my website i hate comedy.com uh and also check out catalyst wrestling i'm still part of that as well uh, doing that and then also uh at harry trajanian is all the social media but most importantly for the show Check out the uh, Man School 202 YouTube page and uh, subscribe also to the uh, Instagram Real Man School 202. Can I add something really quickly? Sure. Just because Andre said Google me, which I which we all say a lot. And I just discovered there's this news. There's this new search engine called Ecosia, E-C-O-S-I-A. And it's just like Google. But if you use Ecosia, they donate tree. They plant trees. The more searches people do. Oh, okay. wow. It's like a nonprofit, so don't Whoa. use Google. Use Akoja. Akoja me. Everything with me is the Dante Nero on Instagram. Dante Nero, everything else. Google me. Uh, Akoja. Uh, if, if you need a one-on-one consultation, just hit, go to DanteNero.com, click on consult, and you can get me. And I'm almost ready to put up my merch store, so there'll be the uh, Man School logos and everything on shirts and sweatshirts and shit like that. So I'm working on that. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. We are out. Well, actually, we're going to go over to the Patreon. Thanks. Join us over. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Manschool202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.